What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars Members Wisdom. What's good, Libra gang? Hopefully you guys are doing lovely with your finances. You know what I'm saying? You know Libra fine. Um, but anyways, uh, this is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. It's going to be a little shouty. Um, so it's going to be a short message for the next seven days. This could be involving a soulmate, twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for the sign of Libra. Um, energies can be vice versa. So get in where you fit in. You will know who you are in the story if you are keeping it 100. Um, if you would like a personal, you can hit me up. Holla at your cat. That information is down below. And if you would love to leave me a love donation um, to support the channel, that information is down below as well. I'm very much appreciated all. Thank you uh, for all my subscribers out there. If you know y'all been holding it down for your girl, I really and truly appreciate y'all. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, which y'all got going on. All right, I did already start a reading for you guys. I feel like you guys are mastering your emotions this week or the person you are dealing with is mastering your emotions or is mastering their emotions. Um, I feel like some of you guys may uh, not be traveling. I feel like you may have traveled or you were planning on traveling, but that's not um, happening here. I feel like some of you guys um, need to stop being so hasty and impulsive and release fear in this situation. Because I feel like you guys could, I'm hearing traveling a lot, so maybe you were traveling a lot. Maybe you... Um, feel like you need to continue or something like that or maybe you feel like you need to continue a situation but I do feel like there is some growth here someone is experiencing some type of growth but I feel like it is due to um, emotional uh, someone's mastering their emotions somebody went from thinking lack-minded like somebody you know was like always negative always thinking that shit wasn't gonna work out for them because of this or because of that or because so-and-so said this or whatever I feel like you guys are growing spiritually and I feel like it, it as well as emotionally and it's because um, it could be because of a passion of yours okay it could be because of a true love soulmate um, or it could be because of a passion like uh, some of you guys could be entertainers um, some of you guys could be an entertainer dealing with an entertainer. Um, but I feel like, yeah, someone is, uh, maybe was planning on traveling or maybe you thought you were going to travel or be traveling a lot, but I feel like, um, that may be ending here. Yep. All right. So some of you guys, yeah, I feel like you're mastering your emotions. You could be mastering your, mastering your emotions about a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. Um, some of you guys are changing your diet. All right. Watching what y'all eat. That's good. Yeah. Your ideas are creating abundance here. So I feel like you guys have a new beginning. This could be a new business opportunity, a new career move, um, but or this could be a new relationship. But uh, I'm definitely getting that somebody here okay so somebody could also be very emotional about you guys could be a fire sign uh, leo aries sag somebody could be upset that you're not traveling back uh travel oh, traveling back so maybe somebody wants you to travel back towards them so somebody may want you to travel to them or something like that this person could be very emotional but i feel like you have mastered your emotions and you are going towards your true passions your desires this could be a person this could be an endeavor a business something like that um, but yeah, know that your ideas create abundance here and I feel like it is a yes. All right. But yeah, y'all got to stop thinking negative. Okay. Because this will prosper Libra. So I feel like, you know, this situation will prosper for you. All right. I feel like you guys are going to, um, some of you guys have been going from, you know, place to place or something like that, but I feel wealth is coming. It's on the way. I feel like there's mutual love, uh, between you and someone else as well. All right, but somebody could be seeking your attention. I feel like somebody may have needed to cut off attention seekers in their life or you needed to in order to manifest this wealth and this abundance here in this new situation or else somebody can lose a merge, okay, or a connection. I feel like somebody needs to take an opportunity on having this new beginning on going towards their passion, um, but somebody had to end something here uh, with people, people or a person that could have been um, taking up too much of this person's time, um, trying to compete, trying to cause chaos whatever um yeah somebody was not on your destiny okay or this was somebody wasn't on your person's destiny all right um yeah an attention seeker so i feel like this person could be emotional um but i feel like you're an artist here or you're dealing with an artist and this person keeps trying to seek your attention to try to block you from uh this person you're destined to be with yeah but i feel like you are ending an abusive situation here in the next seven days um, like I said, it could be with a fire sign because you are taking a risk towards a new a new future. Some of you guys are singers, songwriters, lyricists. 
All right, but y'all dealing with deceptive people, and these people are having y'all stuck in y'all head thinking negative. Yeah, I feel like a fire sign could be having you uh, think thinking negatively about your new beginning. This person could be trying to play on your emotions. This person could be trying to um, hit you up, contact you, but I feel like somebody here needs to end communication. Um, you know, it could be family. So yeah, I feel like you may be feeling left out in the cold, um, but I feel like you need to take this step away from a family member, fam your whole family, I don't know. Oh, some of y'all need to walk away from your old family and shit uh, to go towards your passions or your dreams because sometimes if it's too toxic at home you got to go okay in order to go towards your dreams and goals um, especially if people got you thinking negative and shit and always want you, you know, like the whole crab in a barrel mentality. I feel like some of you guys need to release family or a family member specifically. Um, this person may be feeling left out in the cold, but I feel like it will affect your wealth and your, uh, a mutual love here. If you continue to deal with this uh, person or the, you know, these people, um, because it causes you to think negative and to think lack minded. Yeah. It's time for you to surrender, surrender your need to control the outcome of this situation and release fear because it is an illusion all right one second all right so some of you guys could definitely be getting distracted like a mug okay by uh people so i feel like whoever this attention seeker is or these attention seekers i feel like they want to keep you trapped in your head thinking negative about for a movement i feel like it's just people that don't want you uh that don't want to see you prosper because they want you to remain uh at a level underneath them okay um or this could be you yeah Look, now all this noise, distractions, Libra. All right, let's see who you're dealing with, though. All right, so some of you guys could be dealing with a songwriter. This is you. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, someone who plays an instrument. Who else is Libra dealing with? I'm also hearing computers, so this person could be good at computers, engineering. All right, you could be dealing with a Leo moon, someone who's 5'5". Five, five. Um, North Node in Virgo. This person, that person could have a Piscean, highly aspected. Oh. All right. And the last but not least, some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, this person could be born 1996 or that could be a significant year. Um, Gemini Moon. So it could be a Gemini, a Gemini Moon, a Taurus. Uh, 1996. All right. So I feel like you Libra could be releasing yourself from a situation dealing with these individuals. All right. Or, um, you know, people could be releasing themselves from you again. It could go either way, but let's see dealing with this songwriter here. Um, I feel like somebody here hates liars. Somebody could have lied to this person. Um, or this person could have lied to you. Um, I feel like there's a Capricorn that is releasing fear about this situation or you're releasing fear of, about this situation between you and them. I feel like this is a stable relationship that you could have with this person or someone here is going towards using their gifts to make stable income. So this could be you. You could have Capricorn in your chart. I feel like you need to release fear and do the damn thing because we got the nine of pentacles here. So I feel like somebody is no longer afraid, no longer trapped in their head. I feel like somebody is going towards their financial harvest. I feel like it's coming in. Stability is coming in here. Um, this could be either for this Capricorn or between you and this Capricorn. But I do feel like there is recognition, appreciation rewards if you're in a relationship with this person maybe somebody was struggling financially at first or maybe someone was trapped in their head about whether this person um, was going to be struggling financially or not but I feel like somebody is moving towards stability all right yeah I feel like somebody who was only worried about money before okay I feel like somebody sees that they were on some bullshit only being worried about money before or this is you you realize you were on some bullshit only being focused on money um and now I feel like you're manifesting abundance into your life naturally by um by not just being materialistic and only focusing on money yeah because I feel like all right so some of you guys um a bus could be significant here all right or um I'm also getting sub. So some some of you guys, it could be a substitute teacher or somebody could be like a sub. I don't know what that means. All right. But I feel like somebody was on some bullshit in the past here or this. It could be you or this Capricorn, but somebody was on some bullshit. And that's why money wasn't coming in. But I feel like now money is there was some type of block because someone was only focused on uh, the material. So if this is you, I feel like um, once you release only being focused on money and always trying to go get it and always trying, you know, money, 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 money. I feel like you 
you you can remove this block, all right? And some of you guys are blocked because you lost money in the past. You could be blocking this Capricorn because you lost money in the past um, or they, you know, lost a lot of money in the past. But I do feel like uh, money instability is coming in here. Yeah, because somebody has released some type of past heartbreak. All right, so it's between you and a Capricorn or it could be a songwriter, okay? Someone uh, who could wear red a lot or... Fire. They could have fire in their chart. Leo, Aries, Sag. Yeah, I feel like this person was immature in the past. Um, and that's why things were so burdensome between you and them. But I feel like that is ending here. Um, this person could have been being burdened by Leo, Aries, Sag in their life or an ex in their life. And that's why things were so burdensome. All right. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, somebody is releasing, feeling abandoned in a situation or, you know, in their lives. This could be you. And someone is not returning to a situation um, in order to have this harvest. All right. So let's see, dealing with the Leo moon, this could be a Leo, a Virgo, 5-5, five, five. all right, somebody could be fake, that's why there was no emotional fulfillment in a situation, um, yeah, somebody was not organized, somebody couldn't be organized because something was just extremely emotionally draining, one second, all right, but I, oh, oh my gosh, it fell again, so because the Queen of Pentacles fell out, fell on the floor like two, three times, I feel like people were slipping, sleeping on you. People kept throwing, you know, tossing you around or something like that. But now you successful and shit. All right. I'm definitely getting Virgo here. So, yeah, I feel like somebody may want a new beginning with you because now that now they see that you're successful. All right. But I feel like this person kept playing with you. This person kept just tossing you to the side. It could be two people, Leo, Virgo. All right, yeah, I feel like you're going to need to stand your ground towards this situation um, because it is burdensome. I feel like this is the end of a spiritual battle between you and uh, it could be a Virgo, Leo, um, but I'm definitely getting somebody was fake. Okay, they should have won an Oscar, um, but an, an unemotionally feeling situation is going to be over here. All right, so dealing with a Gemini Taurus, 1996. All right, so I feel like a situation is protected. Maybe you are protected from this Gemini and this Taurus. All right, or your relationship is protected from... Oh, I just heard uh, a new relationship is protected from two exes. So maybe you and your person have an ex that's a Gemini, that's a Taurus. Yeah, I feel like you guys both may have released some situation that was a lot of grief. All right, but you are protected here, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like some of, you, some of you guys were not organized uh, in the past because you were only focused on this past situation. Maybe you were fighting somebody a lot. You and your person could have been fighting someone a lot. But I do feel like that is being released because someone has moved on. All right. Someone is no longer single. All right, and I feel like somebody boo is not with the shit. They like, no, we not doing that here. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody is releasing fear and releasing their ego in this situation. Um, and it's a good decision to move forward because I feel like um, something was bad luck. Okay, somebody could have been sending bad juju towards you. Could have been, like I said, you, uh, your ex, your person's ex, or both y'all exes. All right, so Libra, till next time, my loves. Later.